What's up guys and welcome to my featured app of the month for April 2015. The app we're going to be talking about is called Flinks. So without further ado, let's get started. So the way Flinks works is actually really simple and it works within any application. So if I go ahead and push on this web link here, it'll actually load in the background. So this little bubble right here has the website loaded and I can go ahead and do more than one. So if I want to read this article right here of NVIDIA, I go ahead and push on that and now I have two articles waiting for me to read. And I can go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing. So if I go on to Google Plus, and let's go ahead and say I want to start reading those articles. It's really simple. All I do is push on that bubble and I can cycle within both of those articles. So if I want to read the federal tax credit one first, I can go ahead and do that. And once I'm done with this article, all I have to do is just dismiss it down here and I'm done. And I can go ahead and continue reading my other article or if I want to just go ahead and push back, it's there for me to read later. And I can continue browsing on Google Plus. Oh wait, here's another article. Go ahead and push on that. Now it's loaded there so I can read either one of them. But Flinks does more than just load websites in the background. For example, if I'm reading this article at night and I want to change the background color, sort of like a night mode, I can go ahead and do that. I can also change the font size. So if it's a little hard to read, I can go ahead and increase that by just hitting that on that plus sign button and it increases the font. There's also different backgrounds that I can choose from depending if I'm browsing in the daytime or nighttime just to make it a little easier. And of course I can decrease the font size or change the font type. So Flinks has other features built into it, which I really like. For example, if I push here, it'll save the article for offline reading. And this is really convenient in case you're at an airport and you want to read these articles later. All you do is load the Flinks app and you can see all of your saved articles that you can read. And this is nice because if you're in an airplane and you don't have internet access, you can still browse the web based on all of the different articles that you saved while you were at the airport. Another way you can save an article is by double tapping on a link. When you do that, it'll actually save it for later, which is actually really convenient. But aside from being able to look at your saved articles or even your browsing history, you can actually tweak Flinks to give you a better user experience. So within the settings, you can tweak the app to make it work better for you. For example, the bubble size, you can change the size between small, medium, and large. You can also change the bubble alignment and there's also other things that you can tweak to give you a better user experience. Overall, I like Flinks because it is a lightweight app. It is really easy to use and I know there's other applications like Linkbubble that pretty much do close to what this does, but I really like this one more because of the user interface and it hasn't crashed on me, which is actually a huge plus. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I plan to feature an app every single month. So if you guys like these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button and also let me know in the comments if you guys want me to continue this series. I do like and enjoy sharing the types of applications that I like, so I thought this would be something really neat that I can share with you on a monthly basis. Also, if you have any apps that you want me to check out, leave them in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so, so you don't miss on any future content. Anyhow guys, thanks again for watching, and you'll catch me in the next one. Adios.